Welcome to my third uh, Logic Bus tutorial. In the last tutorial I showed you how to m complete the map uh, smooth line in two different ways. Um, you can either do it the easy way or the a bit more advanced but better way because the, the same control circuit that you you do on this one you can just keep doing for the few next levels basically. So this one is for level two tight bands. You can use the the previous bar. It will need some adjustments. You will have to find you have to do some trial and error yourself. But for this one, I found it easier to use the other other framework. Um, I already placed the two wheels and two caster balls just to make it nice and stable. Um, what we need to do now is place four line sensors. And th there are no one solution to each uh, level, but the, this one I found works for me. You can see that I'm trying to place them exactly where that bend is. Like that. And make sure that they are um, facing the right direction. something like that. And let's put some nice LEDs on it as well. Alright, this is all we need to do for construction. Let's get to the circuit board. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. Always um, rename the sensors and everything you put on there. So I'm going to call this one line sensor right outer. This is right inner. That should be it. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is to put the two inner sensors. Uh, this is the right inner, and this is the left inner. Um, if you watched my previous tutorial, um, we will recreate the, exactly the same um, same control circuit for it. So first up, we're going to need a few signal splitters. And two OR gates. And one AND gate. Oh yeah, we're going to need two, um, two inverters as well. Where you place all these things doesn't really matter, it's, it's just about connecting the right. So this is the control circuit for the left side. That makes sure that the the bot, um, the, the sensors are always outside the line. Because we're doing it the same way as um, uh, le the last level. We're going to place the sensors on the outside of the, the black line. I'm not going to connect the LEDs for now. Um, I'll connect them later on, just to keep things uh, nice and tidy. Uh, 
and the middle part here uh, is what makes the, the butt go forward um, while it's still on the, um, the black line. And here's the control circuit for the right side. Done and done. It should now move and it should um, it should make sure you can see how the it's it's gonna it's probably gonna negotiate maybe the first few turns depending on the distance between the the inner line sensors. But um, what you need to do is to place the um, the outer um, the outer sensors as well. So you connect the right outer sensor to the right motor direction. Um, what this does is that when the um, the outer sensor spot, uh, spots the um, the black line, it's gonna force the uh, the bot to turn by reversing the right engine. And the same goes for the left side. And these turns are probably gonna require some adjustments because this game is after all a lot about trial and error. Yeah, you can see it almost got stuck there and it's very likely to get stuck on the next turn because it's I think it's even sharper. Or at least my, my bot tends to get stuck there more often. Yeah, let's check it out. No, it actually made it. Wow, didn't expect that. Um, so let's connect the LEDs to check what's really going on in there. I'm gonna place the outer um, LEDs to the right. And to make this work we need to to add a few extra signal splitters. I'm going to use a yellow cable for the LEDs um, to show that the, the, this is a uh, this is not crucial for the functioning of the robot. Left outer and right outer. Okay, this is still the, exactly the same connection uh, as before. The only thing I've done now is that I added the um, signal splitters in the path, and I'm going to use uh, yellow cables to attach these to the let's see left inner. All right, and right inner, and left, and right. It should help you understand what's what's happening. Yeah, you can see when when the outer sensors uh, activate, they will make the um, they will reverse the wheel on the same side, forcing the robot to turn, turn, turn faster. And this design with four sensors works very well for what well, I know at least maybe the the two upcoming levels. Oh yeah. This sometimes happens because the the um, the bot tends to wobble a bit, and um, sometimes it gets stuck and sometimes it works. It's hard to find a 
foolproof design. So when this happens, we start the level and let's, oh, um, let's start and try again. Sometimes it works. Um, that's all for this level. I hope you learned something and uh, as usual feel f free to comment and uh, maybe even have a better solution than I do. Please share. Bye for now.